Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Next Wave Film Festival, which is on from February 14th to 16th at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto. Connor McDonald. How did you meet last year's Next Wave winner, uh, Nate Wilson, and start working together on all these films you've collaborated on? Uh, actually, uh, the first time that I met Nate was in grade nine when he was actually like showing, like running a play. Oh. Um, and <laughs> for like a school, uh, for like just like a school like play festival, and his was probably like the most bizarre thing I've ever seen, and my brother like really loved it. And he took me to see it. And then like I found out that he was in the same science class as me. Wow. And we sort of just like started talking. We soon found out that we liked the same types of movies. And then we just sort of started making movies since then. So. What what was the film what was the play about? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. It was probably like <laughs> the most convoluted thing I've ever seen, but it was funny. It was fun. Cool. Uh, it's called Fruit and Time Travel. Okay. Yeah. And so you've acted in how many of Nate's films so uh, far? Almost all of them, actually. All of them, yeah. So at least like five, six, maybe more. Uh, a lot more than okay. that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fifty. <laughs> and in a lot of them, you throw up or something comes out of your mouth. What was it like each time on set doing that? Do you find you're, that you're now an expert vomiter? <laughs> I guess I could say like I've sort of seen myself grow as a vomiter in film, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Uh, and it's also kind of weird because like each concoction is almost like different like radically different each time like the first time It was like almost like mustard food coloring and jello, which is really gross uh, The most recent one that I did was like I think it was like a mixture of like milk and like uh, Wool which is like really disgusting. Oh my goodness. And do you ever actually want to throw up because of what they're putting in you? Sometimes sometimes I do but it's kind of like you have to learn to bear it so and who are some of the filmmakers that have really inspired you? Oh, wow. Um, I'm actually a big Terry Gilliam fan. Like, he's really cool. Uh, Stanley Kubrick. Um, I'm also big into, like, genre directors like uh, Stephen Chow, uh, Larry Cohen. He's really cool. Um, honestly, like, I'm basically, like, almost any director has influenced me in some way, which is really cool. Yeah. And you guys are so young, you're in grade 12 in high school and you've already made all of these films. Tell me a little bit about what the atmosphere on set, how it sort of stayed the same but also changed over the process of making so many different projects together. Uh, I guess when we first started out we never actually had like a script written, we'd always just like sort of like shoot on the fly and we'd also like kind of get like, we just kind of like figured out as things go along because like we were in grade nine so we were just like having fun with it. And then over time they became I guess more serious but they also still had like this loose like very energetic, almost like exhausting feeling, which is kind of amazing. And what's it like for you after you finished a project watching yourself on screen? Uh, honestly, it's just like a weird experience. Um, I still haven't really gotten used to seeing myself on screen so far, so. <laughs> and what types of characters do you hope to play in the near future? Uh, honestly, I'm honestly open to anything, so. Yeah. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and on all these cool films that you guys are making online? I guess just Nate's Vimeo, just check it out. Great. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, Connor, on all of this hard work and success, and best of luck in years to come. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto.